Hello everybody, this is Sheldon from Sheldon Art. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to another episode of Paint Pouring. I'm gonna be doing a straight pour tonight. This is the piece here. And I fell in love with this piece. Look how this turned out. It's a dry result, it's finished up. I put a varnish on it. I haven't done a uh, video on Facebook in a while. Facebook or YouTube in a while. I've been doing some lives on Facebook. And so this one is for the YouTube channel. And I love the way this turned out. I used this um, pigment here. This is actually a chameleon pigment, but because the light's shining straight on it, it's showing you the green. When other lights shining on it at different angles, you'll see that it's a like a blue, then it turns to a violet. Okay, so that's what this is here. Um, I love the way these um, colors really showed up, even those gold parts uh, next to the cloud, all right? And then I had some leftover paint. And so I did one live on Facebook with the leftover paint. And then I did this one. But this is not on YouTube, but it is on the live on Facebook. If you wanna check out my Facebook page and see how I did this uh, on the live there. Um, so all the pieces I do on my channel, as well as what you see on Facebook or even on Instagram at Sheldon, Sherlock Art 67 um, Many of them are still available for sale. So if you want to contact me, I don't understand NFTs. So please, if you don't explain to me what an NFT is, then don't offer it to me. But other than that, um, I do have pieces for sale, okay? Um, and by the way, look at her. She's growing really nicely. It's carpeting up well. This is my new my new best friend to calm me down inside my art studio. All right, so let's get over to the pouring table, to the video with my canvases, and then we'll see exactly how I did this beautiful piece. Um, I haven't come up with a name for it yet, but I will. All right, so I'll see you there. Hello everybody, this is Sheldon from Sherlock Art. Welcome to my channel. It's been a while since I did a video. I did a few lives um, on Facebook and YouTube, but I'm back to do a video, and this is gonna be a straight cloud pour with on a 14 by eight inch canvas. I already sprayed it so it can sound like a drum. And I'm going to go over the colors with you. I'm sorry about the lighting. I wanted to get the light a little bit higher to actually show you my colors, but it was kind of hard to. So I'll do my best um, in showing you the colors. So first off, you're not gonna be able to see it, but this is gonna be in the center. This is called Griffin's Fury. It's a black diamond pigment, but if you see on the spoon, it, it shimmers like a green, but it'll shift to a, like a violet and a blue as well. So, and that's gonna be the color theme to everything else. So green, violet, and blue is the color theme to the other colors. So, to give that a backdrop, I'm going to give a little bit of black, just cause um, pigments, they got an interference to it, goes really well with a black background. Just a little bit though, cause I'm gonna um, hit that with a little bit of um, Prussian blue from Amsterdam, but I shimmered it up with a little bit of uh, Peacock um, Prism Pour from Color Art. It's called Peacock. Um, then I have a Dioxazine Purple from Liquitex, and that's got some shimmer to it as well when I added some um, Deep Amethyst Prism Pour to it. Deep Amethyst. Um, this is a Pebio, um, I forgot what kind of it's um, It's a magenta color, one second. It is called Iridescent Blue Violet. However, I added 
to get more magenta color, I added some of the Color Art um, Purely Pigments uh, Pure Magenta to it. And it really made it a nice, rich um, magenta color here. But because it's a blue violet, it's got a shimmer of an interference blue on it as well. So that's going to be lovely in there. Um, uh, this is Amsterdam uh, greenish blue. Let me see if I can get that. At least the spoon is in the light. Maybe not the cup so much. But that's Amsterdam's greenish blue. Um, this is turquoise blue. Liquitex turquoise blue. And this is permanent blue from Amsterdam. It has a little bit of, um, I want to say, uh, blue velvet from Prism Pour. And that, it's a nice rich blue there. So I got a rich blue, a turquoise blue, a greenish blue, um, a dark Prussian blue. And then I have um, all these blues, but then my clouds, I'm gonna try to color my clouds on the violet with the magenta. And I have um, my cloud mix, which is Artist Loft, soft body white. Um, this time I added some Vallejo Pearl Medium to it. And um, US Floatrol. I'm trying to weed out that uh, apple barrel. So I'm adding a little bit to it as I empty more out. So I'm not making a new recipe. It's just the way it is. Just add to it and eyeball it. And then to line up the white cloud, I'm adding some of this um, glorious gold from DecoArt um, Americano. Okay? So there you have it. So why don't we layer our cup? So, I'm going to add my show color first, which is the, um, actually, you know what? I saw where I was, so that's about myself, and I'm, uh, I may not remember to look at the um, camera. Covering that should be right at the spot where you can see, you can see me, okay? So, um, I'm going to add the show color first. The interference, I'm sorry, the chameleon color, Griffin's Fury. And then I'm gonna go behind it with a little bit of black, just a little bit to give it a backdrop. Good, just like that, right? Then, I'll go with the Prussian Blue. Now to hit the, the Violet, the Oxygen Purple. And then I'm gonna hit it with some Cloud Mix. So Cloud here, good amount. We don't wanna be stingy with the Cloud Mix. And then I'm going to edge that cloud with the gold, like so, okay? Now, for the magenta. That's going to color my clouds. Good. Now I'm going to hit that behind it with the black to separate that from my blues and greens, okay? So now let's hit some of these um, blues and greens. That blue there, we'll contrast it. We'll go rich, then turquoise, and then darken it up with the greenish. Nope, I'll darken it up with the Prussian blue, and then I'm gonna 
add another layer of Prussian blue. Then I'm gonna do something different this time. And that's gonna be the greenish blue. Uh, cloud mix. Gold. And magenta. And we hit that last with the black. All right. So there's my cup right there. Okay. Put some of this down as a base. Now, the last time I did this, the base was too thick and everything starts spilling down in there. So I'm gonna spin this out some to flatten it. it. Don't have to be perfect. I just wanna flatten out that base some so that when I pour the cup in there, it's not so much of a deep, deep area that I'm pouring into, all right? So let's get it done. And let's go. And I'm pouring left-handed. Okay, we're left-handed stuff, guys. I want you guys to know. There you go. And here comes that chameleon color at the end. Nice, nice. Be patient, patient is a virtue. All right. Okay. I'm loving that. Oh, got some nice cells, some boulder cells, some clouds. Oh yeah, that's coming up nice. Gotta let that develop a little bit. some
let that develop. That's gonna be nice. Um, the magenta didn't show up the way I liked it, but that's okay. I like the way these um, clouds are puffing up. Maybe give it some feathering, but not necessarily the other part. So, how about if I take and uh, bring a pick through here? And give that a feather. And then maybe come this way and give that a feather. Okay. So I did it in two directions that way. But I'm thinking I'm going to leave these lines alone. I like the way these just kind of stretch out like that. Maybe come down here. Yeah, I think that'll work. Okay. Sometimes you gotta just take chances and feel your way through these things. Add a little flavor to it, that's all. Just some of these tips. Okay. They puffed up really nice. So you gotta give it a chance to develop, guys. Like I just did here. All right? So let me put a little bit of color around the edge of the flood coat. Then I'm going to spin it out. I was going to tilt it off, but I love the design as it is. So what I'm going to do is literally just put some flood coat around the edge, spread it out with my finger over the edge, and then spin it. And hopefully uh, I can get it to go as close to the edge as possible. But if not, a little bit of black negative space is not gonna hurt it, right? That's why it's good to have a flood coat, preferably one with a color you desire. Ooh. I think I might have to move you over a little bit so you can spin. Make sure you got the clearance, clearance. Does Clarence got Clarence? Clarence got mostly Clarence. Right, Clarence? All right, Clarence. Clarence is my friend. Handy Dandy, his best friend Randy, and his new buddy, Clarence. All right, so I don't want to touch any sides. But you know what? There's a little corner of the puppy pad that it keeps smacking into, so I'm going to tuck that down and then it'll be smooth. So 
that's still spinning. Good. All right, so I think here I can do some tilting. Work my way to the corner. way bring you back towards my hand I love the way those curls are stretching out now stretch out those boulder cells get it over the lip yep and bring it back slow not gonna uh pedal around with this one side just to get that side off come on and off the that yep now come back Plenty of paint on here, but man, is this gorgeous. I can't wait to show the uh, folks at home. Well, of course, the folks at home are gonna wanna see this, of course. I'll bring you back off the edge and lip it. Okay, good. Now bring you back to the center. Just enough. There. All right. Put you down. Oh yeah, that was worth the video. Mm, beautiful, 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 beautiful clouds. Beautiful puffs. It's rough and tough with the Afro puffs. Beautiful piece. I'm excited about it. I'm not gonna do any more. I'm just gonna touch up these sides to help pull some of this color down as it continues to drip and run down. Uh, so yeah, I'm uh, very, very happy with this one. This is one of those deep sided canvases too. So, it definitely looks extra special because it's deep side of canvas. I love it. There you have it. I'm gonna put you over to the table. And uh, yeah, there's a few, something must have dragged inside that little top part, but I don't care. It's got a nice little pattern to it. I'm gonna leave that alone. I'm going to wipe my hands off for a second just from the loose paint. And then I'm going to pull this down. And when I stretched it out, that magenta really did come out. I like that. So I'm going to move this over to the drying table and then I'm going to take you in for a closer look. This is the final wet result. Look at that. 
Oh, I love that composition. And that part right there, when it, sh when it dries, what it's going to look like is this piece here. And how that shines and changes colors and all. But that's what the middle of that is going to look like once it dries. Okay, so keep that in your mind. Now let's look at the rest of it. Look at those puffy, multicolored clouds with the shimmery gold mixed in there. That's why I put the gold next to the white to give it another dimension. The boulder cells popped up really nice throughout the bottom. Look at that. Ooh. Stretched out really nice there. Some boulders popped up in here. Some boulders popped up on these corners right here. So I'm very happy with this. So there you have it, folks. I'm gonna come up with a name soon, but I really like this piece, okay? So thank you for watching and have a great day. And once again, I say, as always, happy pouring and good night.